dear students the topic for today's class is about efficiency and performance the efficiency of the file system it depends on the disk allocation and the directory algorithms which are used the types of data which is kept in the file directory entry right so efficiency majorly depends on the disk allocation we have seen the allocation methods right it can be contiguous it can be indexed or it can be linked allocation and there were directory algorithms as well and then the types of data you are storing then there is a concept of performance the performance depends on disk cache which is a separate section of main memory for frequently used block as you can see the word cache is used so it usually stores the frequently accessed data so if you are maintaining a disk cache that refers to this main memory section it will be stored in main memory only but it is storing the frequently used blocks disk blocks and then there is free behind and read ahead techniques which is used to optimize the sequential access right so that you can uh, free the back data blocks and read the ahead blocks that means the read the forward blocks and free the behind blocks which is used to optimize the sequential access then improve the pc performance by dedicating section of memory as virtual disk so in the previous videos we have seen about virtual file system so which provides an interface between the file system the local file systems are stored on different different types and the user program right so these are the techniques which can improve the performance now we will see an example uh, in this first figure we have io operation that is read and write operation without a unified buffer cache okay and in the second example in the second figure we are showing that io operation read and write is happening with the use of a buffer cache unified buffer cache because here you can see there are two caches the one is page cache and other is a buffer cache in this case we have only buffer cache which is a unified buffer cache here the two caches are employed to do the different different jobs but in this case this buffer cache will be able to do the job of these two combined so you have memory mapped io and io using the read and write operation system calls so one is the page cache which stores the frequently accessed pages it is stored in the main memory one is the buffer cache which stores the frequently accessed disk blocks okay so it is taking the disk blocks which are being accessed frequently and it is being taking the data from the uh, secondary storage whereas this page cache it is storing only the pages which are being referenced frequently so it is like double caching so double caching will have some overheads whereas if you have unified cache that means you just maintain the buffer cache which is able to store the frequently accessed pages for the main memory reference as well as the frequently accessed disk blocks from the secondary storage so it is able to do the job of both store the pages as well as the disk blocks from the secondary storage so the operations can be performed much more easier and it will save the time as well as the cost so this is the description only the buffer cache it stores frequently accessed blocks the page cache it stores pages which are accessed frequently so this is referring this diagram the figure one is having both page cache and a buffer cache it means it's a double caching technique so it will have overheads whereas in figure two we have just one cache which is the buffer cache and it is storing the data which is the frequently accessed disk blocks and the pages so the cpu will be able to access quickly it will not have to search first in page cache okay the page is not being found so we will go to the buffer cache right this is what happens so generally when a cpu wants to request for a disk block that means for a data for a file then it searches the page cache for the frequently access pages if it is present or not if it is not found in the page cache then the cpu will refer to the buffer cache so it will take more time okay but in case of the buffer cache it is storing both the things the referenced pages as well as the referenced blocks so the cpu will be referring this directly so it will save the time to fulfill the request of cpu to access any file okay so this is the concept of efficiency and performance so if you are using unified buffer cache that will improve the efficiency as well as performance of the file system thank you